Zero FXB, just a quickie. I know that a lot of people, when they get their Anytone 868 or 78, they turn it on and they literally like, what the hell is all that? So I just thought I'd just quickly um, go through what's going on here. And even I, I'm not always clear. So the first thing to go to realize is there is a, a main band and a sub band. So there's the top half and the bottom half. When you push the P2, if you get this is based on a Moonraker co-plug. When you push the P2, when it's highlighted and it's larger, it's going to be set to the A band. So if I push P2, it goes to the B band or the sub band. Now, if you hold down the P2, it says sub channel off. So now you're only on one band at a time. So if you push the P2 now, you will switch between the A band and the B band. So that I think that makes it easier to use the radio. You can do it dual band if you like, but it just means you'll be squinting your eyes with one half. So let's just stay on the main band, right? So see in the middle, it says zones. Now remember, a zone is a group of channels. So let's say you had 10 repeaters and you put them into a zone called, um, that's the volume, sorry, called, uh, let's find one that's actually called repeat, something like that we will recognize. So here, this one here, this one's called West Midlands or WM Analog. So that means West Mid Midlands Analog. So now if you turn the channel changing knob, you're going to go through every channel that has been created um, within that zone. So if you go up to the next zone, Northeast Gateways, so that'll be like, you know, like links. But anyway, the main thing to understand is that you're in the zone called Northeast Gateways, but you're scrolling through with the channel changer in the middle um, through the channels that have been programmed within that talk group. So let's go up again, Northeast DMR. That's the basic understanding of a, D of a DMR radio. And if you go to the B band, it's identical. So the information you're seeing on the screen is, is, the, is the power, um, the fact that you're receiving, the little red, looks like a bell. I'm pretty sure that means you're in uh, Digi Monitor. Uh, Digi Monitor, um, let's just, actually I might be wrong, let me just hold down this a minute. Hold down underneath the PTT and it says Digi Monitor double slot. Yeah, so I'm right. So basically, when you, if you turn the, if you hold down just under the PTT, that bell vanishes. If you hold it once, it will appear and then Digi Monitor single slot. So it will monitor uh, a single slot of your co-plug and there's a little next to the bell there's one line if you hold it again now there's two lines because it's monitoring double slots so it basically means that in the, within this zone you've got all these channels and it will actually let them all come through on both slots um, coming through whether it's your repeater or your hotspot uh, really it should be off shouldn't need that you should just be able to select the channel and then when you key the mic it will be on that channel so there is one way of um, of actually dialing into a channel so let's just say we're here we'll try it I'm not sure if it will let me now well, what you do is you underneath the PTT just I know it's a bit dark push once and then type in, say you want to go to talk group 91. Now remember to always push hash at the bottom. Hash takes you into group call, yeah? So you're in group call, yeah? And then key the mic, and that will take you to that channel. Now if you want to keep speaking on that channel, I, I believe you need to push the star button. The star button. So that's a basic understanding. The top one tends to be the changing the power. So you've got high power, uh, turbo power, low power. Um, let's have a look here. P1, 
if I remember right, P1 tends to be scan. Now, is it scan or? Is it like, even I'm guessing on this. Pretty sure that, let's hold it down. Maybe holding it down is scan. Right, well, I think it's scan. Let's hold down the top one, see what it does. Oh, it's telling me the voltage. Okay, and then obviously you've got, you, you know about the green button is the menu and select. And then, let's go back. I don't even use that one. So, the main thing I'm showing you is, is, is the fact that you've got zones and channels and how to search them. So, hope this sheds some light on, on this radio, M0FXB73.